Hey guys, this is Betamix, and this is gonna be a short tutorial on how to how to set up uh, Sublime Text to use uh, hex and uh, and how do I actually use it with uh, hex, hex pixel, which is this guy here. So this is not gonna be a getting started on this. Uh, you can see the uh, the getting started there, which is pretty pretty clear here just download uh, setup hacks enemy uh, I mean enemy first which is there's a video here how to set it up which is very 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 helpful and then you just set up flexel hacks hex flexel like this and and that's it you are set up so this is what I have here in 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 sublime text here which is my favorite editor works on Linux, Mac, and Windows, which is handy for me because I do use those platforms and I'm jumping around all the time. So I need that stuff. So the first thing you need to do is, in once you have uh, Sublime Text, just uh, install Sublime Package Control, which is just go here to installation. Just Google it or just go to this page here, and you have to copy all this command here to install it in uh, in, in sublime to just just press control and back tilde or the back tick there like this shortcut to open the, the, the console here once you open the console to just paste that command there and press enter and that's gonna install it for it's gonna grab it download that it and it's and it's just gonna install it and it tells you to restart. I'm not going to restart because I already have it so it's not needed for me but you have to so do it and once you have that if you go to the usage thing just press that to open the palette just press ctrl shift p on windows on linux or command shift p on OS X. so that's gonna what I'm gonna do and the palette stairs so it just type install and you can see package control install package you also have like remove package I'm gonna remove it because I already have like package control and hex installed so let me just remove hex so to you see me installing so you can see if I go let me just close these files if I try to open it again it doesn't recognize them it just say it's plain text so I need to something to 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 uh, recognize this so just do again uh, command shift P on the Mac and type install and then it's gonna load repositories here you can see it's loading repositories which is a lot of stuff here this is all the stuff you can install which is uh, a lot of stuff uh, so just just type hex a h a x e and you can see it's there it's the first option just press enter to select it and it's installing already here so you can see it here at the bottom in, it's, it's installing once it's done we're gonna have like uh, the text text highlighting and stuff and some other utilities it's not just the it's not just highlighting of the text there's a lot of, of other useful thing, things here a few things so don't save that and now you can see uh, it, the, the text is being recognized as hex2 so just we have all the the uh, nice colors and stuff and you have help too if, if you say let me just try to create another label like Level two, it's gonna be new, a new FLX. You can see there's already help about FLX here. Uh, Add-ons and stuff. I want a text. If I open the parentheses, you can see down here you have help like X is float, Y with uh, text and stuff. So that's very helpful. Uh, the other thing is uh, if you press Control Shift P your file control shift P 
Sometimes it doesn't work, so sometimes you have to do it in the NMML file. Control Shift. No, it's not. I'm sorry, it's not Control Shift P. Uh, it's Control Shift B. B as in uh, bullet. Uh, Control Shift B uh, just shows up your uh, the target platforms. So if you want to switch from, by default, I think it's Flash. If you want to compile this for. Uh, native C++, you can just change it here or for Android or for WebOS or uh, whatever platforms that are, are available for from enemy. You can just change it here and just compile it. So the other thing is uh, when you have your platform and you want to test your project, you, do, you, you don't have to go outside of the editor and, and, and compile it in the command line and stuff. You just press Control Enter, and it starts compiling, and right away it just shows you your compiled game. So that's pretty helpful. Uh, so all the time you are just in one uh, editor, you don't have to go into the command window or the terminal window and compile it there, and then come here and see the errors and stuff. Oh, uh, that's another thing. If you actually have errors, like just remove a T from there, save that file. Uh, compile it, try to compile it, it's just gonna complain, right? You got your error right here. And if you actually, let's see, let me go to another file. I mean, another, totally another file. And if I just double click on this, it just takes me there, which is pretty, uh, pretty uh, helpful. Uh, so you don't have to navigate files and open the files, you just double click the line here and you can, you get there, which is pretty cool. And just said they uh, couldn't find class not found flx text because it's missing a t now once you do it just gonna compile right away uh, now I, I have something else let me see what did I change I don't know did I make another minus eight uh, I don't see it line 30 line 30 here okay I copy that for some reason and expect the class not 36 now. <laughs> yeah, I copy that stuff a lot. I don't know why that happened. Uh, I was double clicking and dragging my pen a lot. So, all right, so there it is. Uh, that's how you set it up. It's pretty simple. Uh, and this is the way I love to work. It's, it's damn simple. And, and once it's set up, you, you don't worry about it. Um, well, that's it, guys. I hope you like this. I hope you find it helpful. And if you feel thankful, just go and check out our game. It's uh, called Infected. It just got released into the Google Play Store, and it's a pretty awesome game. Uh, just give it a try. Um, all right, guys. I'll see you later in another tutorial. Thank you.